A quartet of baby squirrels in Maine recently had trouble because their tails were stuck together. One said that it was the straw and twigs that got them stuck, but others think it was likely a large nest that the squirrels used to live in before being separated to release them. Andrew Day was visiting his parents' house in Bangor when he looked out of the window and something caught his eye. At first, he thought the ball of fur tumbling across the street was a cat attacking an injured. Worried about the wild animal, he ran outside to find not one, but four squirrels, and they appeared to be tied together by their tails. Andrew and his father tried contacting Bangor Animal Control Office, but could not make any progress. Since it was Sunday, the office was closed. They then called the police department and were instructed to contact an area game warden. The game warden responded that it would take him about an hour to arrive there, while the four squirrels attempted to climb the tree. They were stuck together and hence couldn't go upside. If any one of them go little bit upside falls down because of others, so they couldn't make any progress. Above the four entangled squirrels and adult squirrel, likely their mother was perched on a tree limb, making loud sounds, most likely calling out to her children. The two banger men were worried the baby squirrels would hurt themselves, so they decided to take matters into their own hands. Andrew and his father ushered the squirrels into a cardboard box. They used a large garden rake and placed it under the squirrels during one of the climbing attempts. Once in the box, the squirrels panicked for a few minutes, then appeared to calm down. Andrew assumed they were just exhausted and possibly in a state of shock. He took the opportunity to inspect their tails while wearing thick work gloves. Andrew found that the tails were intertwined with straw and twigs and there was some plastic in there as well. One possibility is that they were tied together by a malicious person, though that scenario seemed unlikely in this case. The squirrels looked to be about 10 to 11 weeks old, which makes such a malicious act even more unlikely. Their tails are really slippery when they're that young. If you did tie them together, they'd untie themselves because they're so slick. Instead, the likeliest explanation is that the babies got their tails entangled in something sticky while in their nest. Though it sounds bizarre, such a phenomenon is not unheard of. To stay cozy while they sleep, baby squirrels sit or bunched up with their tails wrapped around one another. So, one possibility is that they were entangled by some kind of human food like sticky candy. But whatever the sticky material was, it probably wasn't edible because they would have eaten it. More likely, tree sap kept these squirrels together. There have been a few reported examples of this phenomenon in the past. One of the things and speculated could have happened was that when the squirrels use holes or they use squirrel nest in pine trees, there's a lot of sticky sap and they sit curled up with their tails together and their tails then get stuck together. Squirrels that find themselves in this naughty predicament may be facing their own version of an urban housing crisis. In cities, the plethora of human food options fuels an explosion in the squirrel population, but there's not a lot of real estate for building nests. Tall trees with cozy holes or branching limbs for making their twig-based rays. So just as humans in the big city do, city slicker squirrels get roommates and lots of them. There are lots of extended families using the same holes or squirrel nest in trees. As a result, they may be a bit overcrowded in these holes, making it likely for them to get entangled. Andrew got some scissors and trimmed tail hair off the squirrels for about an hour and a half. The operation was very tricky and delicate. When the game warden called back, the four squirrels were untangled and resting under a blanket in the box. The game warden instructed Andrew and his father to release the squirrels at the tree their mother was in. Three of the four squirrels scurried up the tree to be reunited with their worried mother. Such squirrel entanglements may be more common than people realize, but it's likely that most of the squirrels that get stuck in sticky sap either die in the nest or after falling out of it or being eaten. They'd make a nice surprise meal for any hawk that goes. In this instance, the squirrels would likely have faced such a fate if Andrew Day had not intervened. The squirrels are very lucky he found them when they did. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. Craig Lutman, ever heard of a rat king? As urban legend tells us, this is what happens when the tails of rats get knotted together. Well, apparently the same thing that can happen to squirrels as the startled residents of a Nebraska town learned. It is a sight that will fill with pity and compassion a group of young squirrels with their tails matted together. 
For wildlife experts, squirrel tail fusion is the embodiment of the proverbial Gordian knot as they are so difficult to fix. It is, however, a challenge that animal control experts in Milwaukee are prepared to handle. Baby squirrels end up with fewest tails after spending some time from birth to a few months in the nest. The material used to build a nest often gets entangled with the tails and merges them together. Over time, the situation becomes more complicated as additional material join the fusion and the fur becomes matted, essentially trapping the squirrels together. Squirrels in this situation are hampered in their efforts to survive. They struggle to move as each animal has its own ideas of where to go. This means that forging activities are limited for these entangled squirrels. On top of it all, they are easier targets for predatory animals because of their limited mobility. When forced to hold together by their connected tails, squirrels are also more visible to predators. Craig Lutman heard a screech at noise so different from what he had heard before. Craig, who spotted these sextuplets on a tall sap cur pine tree in his neighbor's yard, said he had never seen such a thing. The eight-week-old baby squirrels had somehow managed to get their tails knotted together, and they were in big trouble. The squirrels weren't moving in unison. They all wanted to go in opposite directions. It was like a game of tug of war. They looked tired and stressed out. Craig thought that they were going to die. Indeed, left in such a state, the squirrels would either start to death or get picked off by a predator. Concerned, Craig and his neighbor called the Nebraska Humane Society, which in turn contacted Nebraska Wildlife Rehab for help. Once at the scene, the wildlife experts couldn't disentangle the squirrels, so the six-headed rodent was transported to a facility in Fort Calhoun. Prior to disentangling the tails, the squirrels were given a mild painkiller. They were also covered with a towel as darkness worked to help keep them calm. The first step was to remove the copious amounts of sap that had accumulated, followed by the meticulous disentangling. The whole thing took about an hour. The squirrels were then monitored by the staff, and all six were released back into the wild a few weeks later. The tangling of tails is not unheard of in rodents, a phenomenon known as rat kings, although there is limited evidence of the phenomenon occurring naturally. Accounts of this phenomenon date back centuries with examples found in Germany, Belgium, Estonia, Java, and New Zealand. Examples outside of Europe are rare. Five squirrels, a squirrel's most iconic feature, its luxurious bushy tail isn't just for show. The fur appendage keeps the arboreal rodent balanced while running along tree branches or power lines and serves as a nice portable snuggle shelter when the temperature drops. It was the worst at times for five juvenile gray squirrel siblings in Wisconsin, USA. The residents became trapped in their nest the mother had built. After their tails worked themselves into a giant knot. These squirrel siblings were brought into the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center at the Wisconsin Humane Society in Milwaukee, after someone found the struggling animals bound together. The center believes that the squirrels got helplessly tangled because of the long grass and strips of plastic the mother had used to build their squirrel nest. A caring finder found the infants known as kits and took them to the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center at the Wisconsin Humane. You can begin to imagine just how wiggly and unruly and nippy the frightened distressed ball of squirrely energy was. The first thing the center did was that they gave anesthesia to all five of them at the same time. With the animals out cold, the center began work to unravel the Gordian knot of tightly tangled tails and nest material. The phenomenon is similar to a semi-mythological phenomenon called a rat king, in which a nest of rats gets their tails tangled, creating a writhing snarling wheel of rodents. While a rat king has never been documented in the modern age, it turns out that squirrel kings are uncommon but not unheard of. Although the tail twisting game was fun, they quickly realized it was difficult to tell whose tail belonged to whom. This caused concern as they all suffered varying degrees of tissue damage to their tails due to circulatory impairment. After about 20 minutes, but what felt like hours of careful and incredibly delicate cutting, the knot began to undo and the squirrels were left to recover from their anesthetic. The next day, four of the five were bright eyed and all five were bushy tailed. Gray squirrels are a rodent and can grow to 50 centimeter in length. They live throughout Wisconsin preferred mature hardwood forests where they can feed on acorns, hickory nuts, and walnuts. After the procedure, all the squirrels seemed alert and lively and they were happily eating nuts, seeds, and fruit. The Wildlife Center held them a little longer to make sure there was no necrosis or permanent tissue damage to their tails before they released them back into the wild. We can only imagine how relieved 
they must feel to be free of one another and move independently. The future for these squirrels is looking bright. The males will be able to perform their mating dance and their babies will be more agile when they grow up. Young squirrels will grow up with a better chance of surviving in the future, thanks to this Parker-like rope twirl. We want to know what you would do if you saw squirrels tangled together.